so glad that you're here today. Um, all of our activities and early literacy tips can be found online. And um, please check our website um, for other early literacy activities and um, different things that we're doing because we're adding new things all, all, all the time. In August, our story times are going to be outside on the Pred Lawn. Play and Learn is on Thursdays at 10 a.m. And Stories and More is on Fridays at 10 a.m. And Pajama Time, we're also doing Pajama Time at Cool Spring again. So at, it's the second Tuesday of the month. Our first one is August 11th from 6 to 7 p.m. at Cool Spring. If you can't join us, no worries. Um, we will still be recording one um, virtual story time that you can access online. Um, so check on our online calendar of events. Um, if you are unsure if the event is canceled or not, um, give us a call or check online. You are your child's first teacher. Your child looks up to you and wants to be just like you. If they see you participating, they will too. You can help them learn and engage. Our hello song to the tune of London Bridges Falling Down. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? And now we're going to do a clap our hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. How are you today? And now we're going to stomp our feet. Hi, hello, and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Hi, hello, and stomp your feet. How are you today? And we're going to wave hello. Hi, hello, and wave hello. Wave hello, wave hello. Hi, hello, and wave hello. How are you today? Our early literacy tip for today is implement pattern activities into your play, your, um, play with your child. Children love patterns and they're all around. Um, patterns help children understand and change, know that change, thing, things are changing all the time. And patterns are things that repeat in a logical way. So, and eventually, once you keep showing them patterns over and over, your child will be able to make their own patterns themselves. So this is the waves in the sea, and it's sung to the wheels on the bus. The first one is the waves in the sea go up and down. So the waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. And the next one is fish in the sea go swish. We're going to go swish. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, swish, swish all day long. And now we're going to do crabs, and they're going to click their fingers together. The crabs in the sea go click, 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 click. The crabs in the sea go click, click, click all day long. And now we're going to do sharks, and we're going to put our two hands together, and we're going to snap our hands together, and they go snap. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 snap. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 all day long. And we're going to do the song one more time. So, the waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. And we're going to do the fish swim. The fish in the sea, sea go swim, swim, swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, swish, swish all day long. And the crabs go click. The crabs in the sea go click, 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 click. The crabs in the sea go click, click, click all day long. And the sharks go, sharks go snap. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 snap. The sharks in the sea go snap, snap, snap all day long. And here we have our first book. And this is read with permission from Harper Collins Publisher. And it's called Otter Hello Sea Friends. 
The author and illustrator is Sam Garten. Otter, Hello Sea Friends by Sam Garten. Otter Keeper is taking me on a trip. Teddy is coming too. We are going to meet animals that live in the sea. We buy tickets, but Teddy doesn't need one. This place is big. Otter Keeper has a map. I don't need a map. First, we find lots of fish. They are so pretty. We try to count them, but there are too many. We find some seals. They are playing a game. Do you know what they're playing with? Playing with a ball. The seals have lots of fun. I wish I could play too. We find a big turtle. He swims very slowly. He comes to say hello. I like the turtle. We even meet a shark. He is a bit scary. I stay close to Otter Keeper just in case. It is time for lunch. I share mine with Teddy. Then we go to the play area. It is not for the animals. It is for me. Whee! Otter Keeper asks if I want to see the penguins. If I want to see the penguins eat their lunch. Yes, please, I say. Yuck, the penguins are eating smelly fish. Would you eat smelly fish? That wouldn't be my first choice. We have met lots of animals, but penguins are the best. Oh no, Teddy. What happened to Teddy? Can Otter get him? Oh, the nice man saves Teddy. Teddy wanted to make friends, I say. We all tell Teddy to be more careful. It is time to go home. I do not want to go home. Otter Keeper says we can visit the gift shop first. There are lots of things to buy, but Teddy and I know what we want. If you could buy something there, what would you buy? I think I would buy the puffer fish balloons. Those look fun. Now we have a new friend. And you see that Otter bought the penguin. The end. Okay, our next one is called Once I Caught a Fish Alive. And we're going to be using both hands. So, once I caught a fish alive. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. We're going to do that one more time. Once I caught a fish alive. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? He, the list little finger on my right. Okay. Our next book is called Hooray for Fish. The author is Lucy Cousins, and we have permission from Candlewick Press to read this book. So, Hooray for Fish by Lucy Cousins. Hello, I am a little fish swimming in the sea. I have lots of fishy friends. Come along with me. And this is a rhyming book, so we have sea and me words that rhyme. Hello, hello fish. Red, blue, and yellow fish. There's the red fish, there's the blue fish, there's the yellow fish. 
Hello, spotty fish. There's the spotty and there's the stripy fish. Happy fish and gripey fish. So what do you think gripey means? Gripey means they're not so happy. One, two, three. How many can you see? Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Oh, that was a lot of fish. Hello, Ella fish and Shelly fish. I think that one looks like an elephant. And this one's living in a shell. Hello, hairy fish and scary fish. Why do you think that fish is scary? I think it's scary because of the big, sharp teeth. Eye fish, shy fish, fly fish, and sky fish. Hello, fat and thin fish. Hello, twin fin fin fish. So they're twins, they look alike. Curly whirly and twisty twirly. Upside down and round and round. So many friends, so many fish. Splash, sp splash, splish. But where's the one I love the best, even more than all the rest and best and rest rhyme? Hello, mom. Hello, little fish. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Hooray for fish. Lots of different fish in the sea. Okay, so this is called I'm a Little Fish and it's to this tune of I'm a Little Teapot. So, I'm a little fish, oh watch me swim. Here is my tail, here is my fin. When I want to have fun with my friends, I swish my tail and dive right in. I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm a little fish, oh watch me swim. Here is my tail, here is my fin. When I want to have fun with my friends, I swish my tail and dive right in. And our last story for today is called Pattern Fish, and it's displayed with permission of for Learner Group and the from Learner Publishing Group. The title is Pattern Fish, and the author is Trudy Harris, and the illustrator is Anne Canvary Green. And all rights reserved. No part of this expert may be used or reproduced in any manner whatsoever without the prior written permission of Learner Publishing Group. So here is. Pattern Fish by Trudy Harris and illustrated by Anne Green. Yellow, black, yellow, black. A fish swims in the ocean. It has stripes upon its back. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow. What do you think will come next in the pattern? It's Black. Stripe dot dot, stripe dot dot. From a dark and ro rocky nook, an eel slips out to take a look. Stripe dot dot, stripe dot dot. Stripe dot dot. What comes next? Dot or stripe? It's a dot. And there's the dot. Oh, they're going chomp, chomp, munch, munch, chomp, chomp, munch, munch. 
A seahorse underneath the sea eats seaweed for its lunch. Chomp, chomp, munch, munch. Chomp, chomp, munch, munch. Chomp, chomp, munch. Which word do you think comes next? Chomp or munch? Let's find out. It's munch. And he's munching on some grass. Bubble, bubble, pop. Bubble, bubble, pop. A puffer fish blows bubbles. They go floating to the top. Bubble, bubble, pop. Bubble, bubble, pop. Bubble, bubble. What do you think comes next? Bubble or pop? It's pop. Stretch, spurt, glide. Stretch, spurt, glide. On an underwater ride, an octopus is slowly going. Stretch, spurt, glide. Stretch, spurt, glide. Stretch, spurt. Do you think the next word is glide? Stretch or spurt? It is glide. Ooh, these ones like to wiggle and jiggle. Wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, float. Wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, float. Wiggly, jiggly, jellyfish. Wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, float. Wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, float. Wiggle, jiggle, jiggle. What word do you think comes next? Wiggle, jiggle, or float? It's float. Splash, turn, swish, dive. Splash, turn, swish, dive. In the dark, a giant shark moves in murky water with a splash, turn, swish, dive. Splash, turn, swish, dive. Splash, turn, swish, shark? Shark? Shark! Yellow, black, yellow, black. Stripe, dot, dot, stripe, dot, dot. Chomp, chomp, munch, munch, bubble, bubble, pop, stretch, spurt, glide, and wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, float. What's happening? They're all fleeing away, going away from the shark. Hey, where did everybody go? Oh, well. Splash, turn, swish, dive. Splash, turn, swish, dive. Splash, turn, swish, dive. All right, our next one is catch a fish and is to the tune of row, row, row your boat. So here we go. Catch, catch, catch a fish, hook it on your line. Reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it. This one will be mine. Point your thumbs at yourself. So we're gonna do that one more time. Catch, catch, catch a fish, hook it on your line. Reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it. This one will be mine. All right, and here's our goodbye song. So, so see you later, alligator, to the tune of Clementine. See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. And our craft activity for today is on this link, and you should be able to find it online. And there are quite a variety of fish, different fish activities that you can choose from. Most of the materials you should be able to find at home. So. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope to see you soon. Bye.